The AI landscape is constantly evolving at an unprecedented rate. Recently, Hugging Face introduced a new large language model called Falcon 180B, which is currently the most powerful open source LLM on the planet. Falcon 180B was created by the Technology Innovation Institute, and it is so powerful that it rivals previous models like GPT-4 and Google's Palm 2. In this video, we'll explore Falcon 180B and all its insane features. I'm also going to compare it to GPT-4 and see how well it does. But before that, welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. All right, let's get started. First off, what is Falcon 180B? Falcon 180B is an LLM released by the Technology Innovation Institute, an AI company in Abu Dhabi. These guys have been creating some pretty powerful models for some time now. Their previous model, Falcon 40B, held the top spot as the most powerful open-source LLM when it was released in March, but it later lost that position to Meta's AI model Llama. Falcon 180B is a much larger version of the AI model. In terms of architecture, Falcon 180B is a scaled-up version of Falcon 40B and builds on its innovations such as multi-query attention for improved scalability. Falcon 180B was trained on 3.5 trillion tokens on up to 4,096 GPUs simultaneously using Amazon SageMaker for a total of approximately 7 million GPU hours. This means Falcon 180B is 2.5 times larger than Llama 2 and was trained with 4 times more computational power. The dataset for Falcon 180B consists predominantly of web data from refined web. It has also been trained on a mix of curated data such as conversations, technical papers, and a small amount of code. This pre-training dataset is big enough that even 3.5 trillion tokens constitute less than an epoch. The next thing I want us to look at is how this AI model compares to other large language models out there. The best way to do that is on the Hugging Face Open LLM leaderboard, where they run these different models through different benchmarks and then rank them according to performance. Now, the 180B in the Falcon model means that the AI was trained on 180 billion parameters, which is extremely large. So, you can see why it easily outperforms other open source models out there. But let's see how it performs compared to other advanced models like OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Palm 2. As you can see from this bar chart, Falcon 180B almost matches Palm 2, the AI model currently powering Google's Bard. Honestly, this is very impressive because, as you already know, Palm 2 is way more advanced than GPT 3.5, meaning that Falcon 180B is also more advanced than GPT 3.5. However, it is still not as powerful as GPT 4. Now, there's something here I'd also like to draw your attention to, and that is the license here. You see, Falcon 180B's license is not as straightforward as you might expect from an open source model. As you can see here, it is orange instead of green, like the previous model. This means that the model is fully royalty-free without charge for your project if you're not a hosting user. But what does this actually mean? Well, it is defined in paragraph 9 of the license, but let me break it down in simple terms. According to the license, if you wish to use the model in a way where you're offering it as a service to others, for example, through an API, then that's hosting use. You can't do that under this license. If you wish to do something like that, then you have to ask for permission. So essentially, this means that you are not allowed to build upon this model and offer services to people, but you are allowed to build something with it for your personal use. So it is open source, but with that exception. But it is still a big deal because we now have an open source model that rivals other closed models like GPT-4 and Palm 2. However, there's one thing I want to mention. You see, Falcon 180B is a 180 billion parameter model, meaning that it is going to be pretty expensive to run. So it is not going to be very feasible, especially for casual users. But just in case you want to test out the mode for yourself, you can check it out on the Hugging Face platform. 
Now, if you enter a simple prompt here, you'll notice that the response is at a higher quality compared to GPT-3.5. However, these answers are going to be a bit shorter because here in the additional settings, it is set to 256 tokens by default so that people don't use too much compute while testing the model. Now, one thing I noticed after testing the model a few times is that it is very similar to Claude 2 in the way that it generates its output. The only difference it has from GPT-4 is that it avoids some of the phrasing and the sentence structure that is typical of ChatGPT. This makes it really good for content writers who are trying to generate unique content that is different from the typical ChatGPT style. Also, you have to be really good at prompting if you want to generate good content with ChatGPT, whereas Falcon 180B can generate good content for you without having to write a very detailed prompt. At the beginning of this video, I said that I'd be doing a comparison between Falcon 180B and GPT-4, so let's get into it. What I'm going to do here is I'll write a simple prompt. So, I will just say, write me an Instagram caption for a selfie of me, an AI YouTuber. The target audience is 35-year-old tech enthusiasts who love to explore new technologies. Speak to their desire to always stay up to date. This is a pretty basic prompt, and I included all the details that I wanted it to give me. Then, I'll just click on this submit button. After that, I'll head over to GPT-4, type in the exact same prompt, and click enter. Now, I'll wait for both of them to generate its response given its huge size. Now that we have the results, you'll notice that GPT-4 gives you the typical Instagram caption with a bunch of images and hashtags. To be honest, GPT-4's response is not that impressive at all. It's just basic. Falcon 180B, on the other hand, generated a pretty impressive response, but it's not too special either. As I said earlier, Falcon is much more creative with text compared to GPT-4, so Falcon definitely wins here. And this is my point. If you're trying to write a blog post or generate social media content, other AI chatbots like Falcon 180B and Claude can do a better job than ChatGPT and GPT-4. Now, there's also another thing about Falcon that I would really like to talk about. You see, the AI model has not undergone any advanced tuning slash alignment, so it can produce problematic outputs, especially if prompted to do so. But what does this mean? Essentially, this means that this model is actually more open and less politically correct than most other models out there. Other AI models like Llama, Claude, and GPT-4 are censored. This prevents them from generating any offensive output. However, Falcon 180B is able to generate some offensive responses. They'll probably address this when the model becomes more public. But for now, it is probably the most open and accurate model out there. So, what do you think about Falcon 180B? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.